morning. We're cooking with Thunder Bay. That's right. Today we're preparing fresh seafood. It's sea scallops topped with citrus butter and a lemon chile sauce. How about that? Mm. Doesn't that sound delicious? Mm -hmm. Smells even better. Mike Stigler is the executive chef at Thunder Bay. What is the tooth? You have young kids. What I does do. the tooth fairy pay at your house? I think it kind of depends on whatever the tooth fairy has in her little fairy pocket at the time. Oh, okay. how many kids she had to visit? What yeah, is it? Three dollars yeah. a no, tooth? Goodness, no. Is it, no. Ch it, is it, it close, change? Closer chump to change? a dollar and change, I would think. Usually, yeah. yeah. Oh, sometimes she leaves change too. Sometimes, a buck if, and yeah, change. I think if that's what she happens to have that day, I think that's what she does. Yeah. That's okay. awesome. Yep. All, All right. right. Oh. Um, it's interesting. You're going to cook with sea scallops? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and Mike's like, what, is, what are they going to say? Wait, I mean, asparagus. I asparagus. was um, cooking at State Fair, and one of the things I learned from someone is that you snap, snap it. it rather than I yeah. always cut. So, like, I, I no, kind of start cutting it. here until it gets where it's easy to cut, the and woody. then you know it's good. But if you just take it, it kind of naturally snaps at the right point. That yeah. is awesome. You, it's so much quicker. You mm -hmm. can find where the woody part of the stem is that way. If you just kind of feel it up where it breaks easily, snap it right off, and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yep. All right, what do you want to talk about? All right, well, there's a lot of different components to this dish. Um, okay. You know, so we're going to get some of this different stuff going Looking first. Healthy. First thing we're going to get going is going to be the vegetables. Okay. So here I've got, um, this is a vegetable blend consisting of yellow and green zucchini squash, um, red onion and a little bit of uh, red bell pepper. These all are going to hold up really well to kind of a high heat cooking, which we're going to do. So I'm going to get this going in the pan Fresh. over here first. Those bright colors. Yeah, yeah. So we get a little bit of olive oil going mm -hmm. in our pan, and then we're going to go ahead and kick these vegetables right in there. Okay. And get those going, and those should start sizzling up right away as they are. And then to that, I'm going to add a little bit of chef salt here, which is salt, pepper, and just a little tiny bit of garlic in there. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this minced garlic in there as well. Now this minced garlic that I have has a little bit of oil in it just to kind of help keep it so that it's easier to scoop out and a little bit of just Italian seasoning in there, sort of mm -hmm. an all-purpose garlic good. blend. So yeah. whenever you have fresh garlic in a pan, you want to make sure that you keep it moving really well so that that garlic doesn't burn. You don't want to leave it sitting in there too long. Good. That garlic is so aromatic. I so love it. So then from there, we're going to get our asparagus going and we're going to mm -hmm. give a similar treatment to this asparagus. We're going to start off with a little bit of oil on there and then we're going to put some chef salt on there. And I like to just toss them around like that. Now this asparagus. Massage it in a little. Yeah, give it a little give rub. Give it a little rub. A little rub a dub. Mm -hmm. So from there, we're going to go ahead and put these on the grill. Okay. Now this asparagus, I blanched first in some boiling water to take the, you know, the, the make it so it's not quite so crisp, and mm -hmm. then it's going to finish up on the grill real nice like that. Does blanch just mean soak? Nope. Blanch means if you get some boiling water, you drop your vegetables in there really quick with some salt. Any kind of green vegetables, you know, whether it be uh, snap peas, green beans, even yellow beans, asparagus, mm -hmm. set it in there real briefly, um, and then pull it out and chill it in some ice water, and it'll it'll set the color uh -huh. on there, and it'll also par partially cook it so that then you can finish cooking it uh, by a different method like we're doing here without Fancy. having to worry about getting it overdone. Okay. So so from there, we're going to go on to our sea scallops. So sea scallops we've got right over here. Now sea scallops, um, as well as bay scallops, have a little bit of a grain that runs vertically. It's sort of like a, a small beef tenderloin fillet almost. They're huh. very similar in, uh, in, in texture right here. So you have the grain that goes up and down. So you want to make sure when you put these onto your They're pointing skewer again here, with the shot that we have. Can you the, see? The, the grain goes there up goes. and down like mm -hmm. this here. There we go. And then there's the flat side on the top. And just like with the filet, if you were cooking it, you wouldn't want to cook it sideways or all jimmy jammed like that. You want to cook it straight up and down Don't like jimmy that. Don't jimmy jam your scallops. Don't jimmy jam the scallops. Okay. So you want to put these skewer going through here. This is going to help to keep it organized in the pan so that they're not all floating around real well. So you spread them apart so that they cook nice and evenly. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to hit that with a little bit more of the chef salt that we got going on here. And then we're going to get those into our pan. So we've got some oil in the pan. Mm -hmm. And the thing that you want to remember with scallops is that you want to create a sear on one side. So you want to have a pan that's nice and hot so that it starts to sear right away. You put a little bit more chef salt on the top of there. And then you want to let it attach to the bottom of the pan a little oh, bit. You're going to yeah. scrape oh. it up on the bottom. And then you got that beautiful sear on the bottom. Oh, look at how gorgeous perfect. that looks. Doesn't that's that look good? That's how they get that sort of caramelized look done. Yeah. And then, okay. and then like we were talking about with the, uh, with the grain running up and down like we have here, you can see how you got the sear on the top and then you've mm -hmm. got the grain on the, on the middle. And then you're going to get another sear on the bottom and that's going to create a really nice buttery texture on the inside there. So you're going to have a little bit of sear, buttery texture, sear on the bottom, and you're creating um, flavor. You're caramelizing the outside of that scallop and you're building flavor, which is what we want to do. Are you really even cooking it all the way through? 
Yeah, yeah I was wondering about that too, like yeah. how you know that when they're done. Yeah, it, it's it's similar to like when you're doing tuna? shrimp, other seafood. Mm -hmm. No, not really so much tuna because tuna you want to leave it a little bit underdone, more yeah. towards the rare side. With scallops, you want to heat them all the way through, but just. You know, you don't want to go overboard with them. It's going to dry them out. Okay. You're going to lose all those natural juices in there, but you want to heat them just so that it's heated through all the way, similar to like what you would do with what you would do with fish. Now, when you serve it, do you leave the wood in the food or? <laughs> Yeah. Do you know that this is Molly's biggest thing? She hates wood in food. Well, I'm not going to leave it in there today, that's for sure. All right. You're going to have to take <laughs> it off. Molly can't even remove a toothpick from a sandwich by herself. She has to close her Come eyes on. and look away. My kids do it automatically. And then we have to pull it out for her. Are yeah. you one of those people that orders this? Sam, can you leave the skewer out of my club, please? <laughs> one of those kind of yes, people. Exactly. Right. You just no. make someone else remove it. You have some people order it like that? We have, yeah. You'd be, you You're would, not the only one. Oh, boy, you would be, you would be shocked at some of the crazy, okay, we'll call it quirky things. Yeah. Yeah. That people How's your outdoor for, yeah. patio still? Is that like a, a good spot for people yeah, still to it's, sit? Because didn't you great. just redo it? Yeah, it's all updated now. We've got big screen mm -hmm. TVs out there. We've got soft seating out there now, which is like really comfortable couches and stuff. Yeah. We've got brand new tables and chairs. So on a day like today, when it's nice and cool out, not so hot like it was, come on out, sit outside, have a cocktail, um, have something to eat. Um, it's great it, to it, bring coworkers mm -hmm. out, meet people, meet the girls for a cocktail Definitely. after work and or with, after a long day. And with Packer season coming up too, you know, those early That's games, good. it's going to be plenty of time, opportunity to come out there and watch a game from outside. Yeah. So right. we're going to start plating this up. we got our veggies in the middle of our pan there. And then from there, we're going to take, I just like to use my hands, I'm going to go for it. Do we're it. We're going to put our asparagus Your spears chef, you can do whatever you on want. either side here of this. So we got a oh, nice, colorful, pretty? healthy looking dish. Yeah. Now we've got a great sear going on the side over here. So we're going to lift our scallops out of our Those pan. Look perfect. And just use your hand on top to balance it so that okay. once again, it stays nice and vertical like you want. All right. I'm gonna set that right across on the top there. Okay. Don't worry beautiful. about the wood now. Yeah, I'll leave that should sit be. there. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, we are going to go ahead and put a little bit of citrus butter on the top. And this Ooh. is just butter that's been put together with uh, some lemon zest and a little bit of salt and pepper. Uh, then from there, we are gonna finish this up with a little bit of this lemon chili gremolata. It's just a garnish basically that's made with chopped bell pepper. That looks phenomenal, just a Mike. tiny little bit of chili and then a lot of lemon zest. So you get that citrusy punch going on in there. And then here we go. Oh, go look at you. Yeah, right Mike, there, there you go. go. So we've removed <laughs> the wood from the scallops and now you can try it. Which you can request at home. Okay, you can okay, see well, how you buttery that, that is. Thunderbaggrill.com is the website you can go for more you got to stop in check out their outdoor patio again just recently remodeled that dining area with the tvs and the soft seating perfect mm. place to relax for a cocktail or some food check out thunder bay and ask for mike mm, mm, mm. <laughs> do you that love it when people ask for you delicious i do thanks yeah. to you guys yeah, yeah. thanks mike <laughs>